What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you are new or have never seen my videos before, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational. Um, if not one of those three, I hope you at least find it entertaining. I hope you get something good out of this video and it's not just a waste of your time. If you're a returning viewer or a subscriber, I just want to take a second to say thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Um, without you guys, um, without your viewership and your subscriptions and your comments and your likes and shares, um, obviously my channel would go nowhere and so I do greatly appreciate it um, if like I said if you're new welcome um, if you like it please like subscribe share um, help my channel grow get my name out there I greatly appreciate it so I wanted to jump into a video today because something's been bugging me um, and it's you know not <laughs> not really something important you know but um, something's been bugging me for a while and that something is bars um, now, I know first world problems, but <laughs> um, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about status bars. Um, you've got poly bar, you've got Exmo bar, you've got lemon bar, you've got yeah bar, you've got all these different bars and stuff. And for a long time, I've had a bar on my window manager setup and it's looked slick and it's snazzy and it's got all this information in it. But I've slowly realized and it's slowly changed over time that 95% of the stuff that gets put in that bar I have, to, I have absolutely no use for. And I watch some of these guys that have all this stuff up in their bars, this, you know, the up and down time, up and down speed for their uh, network. They've got uh, CPU temperature. They've got load. They've got file system um, information. They've got all this stuff up there. And I really find it hard to believe that any of that is useful or as useful as they like to pretend it is. Um, I got to say, I think a lot of it has to do with wanting to look cool. <laughs> And I'm guilty of that too. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but I've just come to the realization lately, and who knows, this might change over the next week or two or month or whatever, but I've really come to the, the conclusion that I like and kind of wanted to go back to your just basic bar like you get on a normal desktop environment. I don't want all the other crap that comes along with a desktop environment, but I just want that typical standard bar that's just got kind of like a button in the one corner, the left lower corner to launch whatever you're going to launch, um, you know, your applications menu and your uh, logout menu and all that stuff, and then a couple icons letting me know what my network is, if I've got an internet connection, if I've got battery, and if I've got volume. And so what I've done is I've created a bar like that using Polybar. And if you look at the bottom of my screen here, you can see this is what I have. Um, now it's pretty minimal, but it's really all I need. Um, over here in this corner, I have a little icon that I can change. I can change what that icon looks like. Um, I can make it anything I want to, but um, right now I just have this. And if I right click on this, then I get my application launcher menu and I can go through and pick whatever menu or whatever application I want to launch. Or if I left click on it, I can actually just log out like I have my logout menu. So it's just kind of cool like that. Um, if I open up a window here, say I open a terminal, you can see right in the center here, I've got uh, um, X window. So just kind of like the tabs, obviously it's a window manager, so I can't minimize and maximize stuff, but you know, at least I know what windows I've got or what window I've got open or whatever. So I've got that like your typical bar from, and I've got my workspaces over here. Um, a lot of the workspaces um, on your typical desktop environments just have a box or something over here that you know shows what's going on, whether you've got multiple workspaces or not. And so that's all I wanted, just something to show that, yeah, I have two workspaces going on right now, and that's it. Um, I don't need to see how many workspaces total I have. Um, I just want to know which ones I've got stuff on. So I've got that right there, and then I've got your date and time right here, just your typical basic date and time. And then I've got your typical tray icons. I've got your network manager here, I've got your battery icon here that if you can see if you hover over them, um, you get your information, just like uh, any of the other things, and you got your volume icon. But now the one thing I did do differently is I created, using a tool called YAD, I created my own updates icon. Um, and that's this guy right there. Now, <clears throat> the way it works is, if I have no updates, that little gear icon will be green. If I have a, a couple, I think less than five, that little gear icon will be yellow. And if I have more than five, as you can see now, I've got more than five updates available, that gear icon will be red. Now, it does more than that. Um, if I actually hover over it, it will do just like the other ones, and it shows me I've got eight updates. And it also tells me I can right-click to see what my updates are, what programs on my system need updating, 
or I can left click to perform the update. So let's go ahead and hover over it and let's right click. Let's right click and now I get this nice little menu that pops up that shows me all the programs on my system that need to be updated. So that's pretty cool. And then if I left click on it, it automatically launches my terminal and starts me up into an update session. And it will update the programs that need to be updated. I'm gonna go ahead and say no right now, but um, and it's that simple. Um, so I've got this neat little icon there that shows me my updates. I've got my volume icon right here, and my battery icon, and my network icon. I mean, all this other stuff, the CPU temp and all this stuff, I'm not big into video and photo editing and all this other stuff, gaming, any of that that's going to require um, hard or heavy CPU usage and all this stuff. So I really didn't need all this stuff. And I just really slowly found myself thinking, why do I have all this stuff cluttering up my screen? Ideally, if I was on a desktop and not a laptop, I probably wouldn't have a bar at all. I honestly probably would not use a bar whatsoever. And technically, I guess I could do that on a laptop and just check everything, but you know, um, such is life. This is just the way I'm gonna do it. But I've really come to really like this setup. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna probably have it like this for a while. I might make a few little changes, obviously, like to my icon over here. Um, and I might put my, um, <laughs> maybe be a little narcissistic and put my uh, YouTube subscribers, build another icon like this one to show my YouTube subscribers, um, just to kind of see how things are going. Um, but that's really it. I just think that I'm getting more and more to the fact that I really don't care as much about how my system looks to other people. And that was the big thing with the bar is I was always looking at, oh, let me see if I can make this bar cool. And I wasn't big into customization. Like I wasn't doing this, oh man, people are going to think this is great. But I, I did, I, I was doing stuff that, oh man, I wonder if people like this, you know, and I found myself thinking and worried more about what other people might look, think of my system while I'm doing my videos, as opposed to what is actually functional and useful to me. And I really just caught myself on that. I was like, I really don't want to go down that road. I don't really want to be that guy that is just too concerned about what everybody else thinks about my stuff. I just want to get on here. I want my system to work for me. I want it to do what I need it to do, give me the info I needed to give me, and be done with it. So this is what I've come up with. Again, I've got my typical icons down here. This is just Network Manager Applet. This is CBAT icon, and this is um, PA icon. <clears throat> or PA, yeah, PA Applet, excuse me. So CBAT icon, PA applet, and NM, NM applet. And then this here is a, a, a creation of my own. So let's actually go ahead and open a terminal. And let's clear the screen real quick and zoom in. And let's CD into scripts. And let's vim into, I think it's update icon.sh. And you can see it's just a really short script here. Basically what it does is it runs a loop here. I've got a couple variables here. UPD is going to run sudo xbps-install sunm, and it's going to pipe it into word count. Excuse me. It's going to pipe that into word count, and then count the number of lines. So that'll give me the number of updates I have available. Instance is just going to be um, pid of yad. So that's that program I was telling you about. Um, and you can look that up if you want. It's on GitHub. It's, again, it's just GitHub, and then look for YAD, and that stands for yet another di or yet another dialog. Um, you can do dialog boxes with it, all kinds of stuff. But I've just used it to make a tray icon for right now. Um, and then so it's going to look pit of YAD is just going to look to see if YAD is actually running. And then I have list, which is sudo xbps install dash num, and that's piped into awk, and then it prints out the first field. So that gives me, when I right click on this, that's what gives me my list of programs that need to be updated. So again, it just runs through a loop. It checks if the, ins if the instance of yad, so if yad is running, it checks for the instance. If it's greater than zero, which means yad would be running, it's going to kill yad, so that way I don't get multiple icons. And then it's going to run through this if statement. So it's going to say if upd, which is sudo xbps install, that's the number of um, updates available on my system. If it's less than one, then basically it's just going to do yad. It's going to run the yad program. It's going to give me the text, which is what happens when I hover over it. And that's going to tell me how many updates I have. Oops, I accidentally clicked on it. Sorry. Give me a second here. No, we don't want to update. Um, so it's just going to give me the upd updates. And it's just going to tell me zero updates. 
and then dash dash notification is for the icon and I put the path to the icon here and then we're gonna go into next it's gonna say elif upd is less than or equal to five so if it's five or less um, or five four three two or one updates available then it's gonna run through and it's gonna run yet again and it's giving to give me the text and again it's gonna put the output which is gonna look exactly like this it's gonna tell me five or four or three or two or one updates and then it's gonna tell me right click to see all updates or left click to perform update. And then it's gonna give me, obviously tell me a notification, which means it's the icon and it's gonna give the path to the icon. So it'll display the correct icon. It'll display the yellow, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, my throat is extremely dry. And then menu, basically menu is when I right click on it, it's gonna give me list, which again up here is the list of all the available updates on my system. It's just going to do that sudo xbps install and pipe that through awk. And then dash dash command when I left click is going to run kitty. It's going to launch my terminal and it's going to dash e which means it's going to execute sudo xbps install dash su which is going to run the update on my system and then ask for me to do it. And then it's going to finish the if statement. It's gonna sleep for 25 seconds. I need to change this because I really don't need it updating this long. I just did this to test to see if the icon would change um, after I did an update. Um, and so um, I've just messed around with it. I gotta, I gotta kind of perfect the script a little better, but I just wanted to get this up and going. And then it's gonna sleep for 25 seconds and it's gonna loop through it again. So, <coughs> so excuse me one second. So that being said, it's just a really super simple script. Um, and again, it just gives me this neat little tray icon down here that allows me to hover on to see how many updates, right click to see what updates there are, and left click to update. So again, it's just really super simple. It looks a lot like a bar you would get on even a Windows machine or any of the normal desktop environments like your Cinnamon or XFCE or whatever. And in reality, that is all I need. That, that's all I really care about right now. Now again, that might change in the future and I might have um, a change of heart and wanna go back to having a typical bar, but as of right now, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this is perfectly fine and it, it works great for me. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a little bit of uh, use out of it or a little bit of information and I hope you uh, are having a great day and a great rest of your week and just stay safe and God bless.